So this video shows you how to make your own function in GeoGebra that you would like GeoGebra to try and fit to the data using regression analysis. So um, GeoGebra has a wide range of functions. It's fantastic if you type in fit, you've got exponentials, growth, line, logs, logistics, polynomials, all of which uh, GeoGebra will use to automatically try and generate a best fit to your points. You choose which function. But you, you might want, um, especially with um, explorations, students have to first analytically develop their own model before using regression. Um, they're going to want to develop their own model. And then they might want to use the model they've developed and put it into GeoGebra for GeoGebra to use that same model to try and get a regression best fit, but using their model, not one of the presets. So here's what that might look like. Um, the student might say, okay, they've done a bit of research and they've seen that we reckon natural abilities might be modeled by exponential functions so they're going to go for A and I want to use the um, E and they might explain why that would be um, so I'm going to go for a symbol here um, let me see if I can get that and if I want E as in the natural uh, number E 2.71 etc 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 I have to select it from the list so it knows that's what I mean um, so y equals a e to the, and we're going to put in the general form of the function. Uh, so I'm going to need my sliders to correspond to this a, so let's put some sliders in. There's going to be a, uh, here's the b, here's the c, and here's the d. And so now I can be confident that that a will correspond to this slider here, and that's going to be a e to the power of um, b x minus c uh, and then I think I'll have a plus d at the end of all of that to do the vertical translations so students think this this function might fit so they press enter and a function appears and then they can play around with these um, and try and find a useful fit sometimes it disappears it's a bit frustrating they probably want to going to want to make that slider a bit longer and the increments a bit smaller um, so they'd go into the slider controls, make those increments a bit smaller so they can refine that a bit tighter, make the width a bit longer so they've got a bit more control over the numbers that are used. Uh, and maybe they want to go from minus 7 to 7 or, or even wider than that. Uh, and then that allows them, you can see the slider's got much bigger and I can use the arrow keys, remember, to really change that bit by bit to really refine it. Um, and so they play around, they try and get this fit as good as possible, and then they're going to say, well, okay, GeoGebra, that's my best fit, can you do any better using my model? So they're going to type in fit, and they're going to choose list of points and function, and the list of points is still list 1, because we're still dealing with the same data, but the function this time is a function they defined. So th this is where the algebra view is always useful, is when you start to really create. I had to move that spreadsheet view before I can move the algebra view. And my function is f of x, that's the function that we've got running down the page here. So I need to tell GeoGebra to use my function f of x to try and get the best fit. And when I press enter now, that's the best fit function it's been able to develop using uh, my coefficients. It doesn't look that great, but perhaps that's because that function isn't that great. Um, so then you can see, okay, what other options does GeoGebra have? So that's a video that shows the student defining their own model, using sliders, adjusting those sliders um, to try and get a better fit, and then asking GeoGebra to use the same model they used to get a line of best fit using regression analysis to that data. I think GeoGebra could have done a bit better than that, so why not try, go back and try one of the other presets, maybe their own exponential model.